and welcome back. Today I'm going to answer a question I got asked on the channel. And the question is, how do I treat a vaginal boil? Vaginal boils are really common and most women do develop it. It can be painful and uncomfortable, but very simple remedies are able to get rid of it. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of these simple home remedies that you can carry out to get rid of a vaginal boil really fast. So please do stay with me, don't go anywhere. A vaginal boil is also called a pharyncal or a skin abscess. It is a bump that develops under the skin in the pubic area. It can be painful and filled with pus. It usually happens when the bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus infects the sacs that contain the roots of your hair and oil glands, that is the hair follicles. A vaginal boil can develop from another injury to the area. When this happens, the bacteria gets the chance to enter the body where there is an injury or a cut. A boil can develop on the labia, which is the lips of the vagina, in the pubic region, that is where pubic hair grows, or in the vulva area around your vagina. Some women will get them in the skin fold of the groin. The boil will start small, just like a little pimple, and then grow bigger as time goes on, such that it can grow to become as big as a golf ball. You know, it is very common to have a boil in the vaginal area because the hair follicles can easily become infected. But the good news is it can be treated at home. The signs and symptoms would include a swollen red bump deep in the skin, very painful to touch, and it will be filled with pus with time. It develops a white or yellow pus filled center that may break open. It may ooze clear fluid or develop a crust. You may get fever or swollen lymph nodes. Today, I'm going to share with you some simple remedies that you can carry out at home with no medical assistance to get rid of a vaginal boil. To treat a vaginal boil, apply a warm, moist compress. How do you prepare a warm compress? Take a washcloth or a towel and dip it in warm water. Make sure the water is not boiling hot so you don't burn yourself. Squeeze the water out whilst the towel or washcloth is still warm. Apply it to the boil and do this three to four times in the day. Three to four times a day is perfect and use a new towel or washcloth each time you do it. This encourages the ball to drain. And take note of this, you should never squeeze, cut or pop a boil that develops near your vagina as this can cause the infection to spread to other areas. It will make the pain and inflammation worse. Wear loose fitting clothing to prevent rubbing and irritation to the area. Keep the vagina clean by washing with plain soap and water and make sure you wash your hands before and after touching the infected area. When the boil begins to drain, clean the area very well and cover it with a loose bandage. Sometimes it can be so painful that you would need a painkiller to help with the pain and paracetamol is just perfect. Visit the pharmacy to purchase yourself some paracetamol and speak to the pharmacist if you're not sure about this. Sometimes some vaginal boils would require treatment with an antibiotic and this would have to be prescribed by your doctor after careful assessment and examination of the boil. Also, when you get recurrent boils, antibiotics might be required and as I said earlier on, they would be prescribed by your doctor if your doctor thinks an antibiotic is necessary. Sometimes also a boil might need drain by your healthcare provider 
and this involves making a small incision to drain the pus from the boil. Now I want to share some tips on how to prevent vaginal boils. You know, boils around the vagina can't always be prevented, especially if you have a weakened immune system. But there are some things that you can do to reduce your chance of getting another boil near your vagina. Wash your genital area with plain soap and water at least once a day to prevent bacteria from building up and causing infection. When you shave your pubic area, shave in the direction of hair growth and change your razor frequently. An old razor can harbor bacteria and cause ingrown hair. As much as possible, never share your razor with anyone. Also, do not share your soap, your towel, your washcloth or other items that touch your vagina with anyone. Wash your hands regularly, especially before and after touching your genital area. This is also very important. Ladies, change your underwear daily and after exercise. Don't recycle your underwears. That is, take one off and go for it the next day or the next two days, even when it hasn't been washed. Once you take off your underwear, make sure it is washed before you use it again. I hope this video is helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up, share with your family and friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my interesting videos. Thank you once again for your time today and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.